This film is about finishing the Julia's floor pan, but it's also about using bed liner as a ceiling of body parts, especially the stressed ones. It seems that after a decade search for the right way to do this, I found the product that really works for me. I'm in heaven. Noise cancellation and thermal insulation of the cabin of this late Julia are really excellent. I am not aware of any other brand doing this so thoroughly in the 70s. Panels were first painted black, bitumen mats were applied to the floor and painted over in the color of the car, followed by a thick organic insulation material and a moisture barrier and finally the rubber floor mats. All this contributes to the unique smell of unrestored Alfa Romeos and I have to admit I find it very sad that it had to go. But given the massive sheet metal repairs this car had to undergo there was just no way to save it and let's be honest there is a hygienic aspect to it too. All this will be rebuilt with modern materials but first the seat mounts had to be saved and built in again.
When removing the bitumen with heat gun and scrapper, it's almost impossible to capture all of it in one go. So the wire wheel is employed to remove the residues, like here under the handbrake. Restoring a car always means to walk the thin line between leaving it, repairing it and replacing it. The original bitumen over the front transmission tunnel seemed sound to me, so I gave it a little trim and let it in. All this will leave the car dirty and ugly like a living room after a teenage birthday party. The vacuum cleaner made a start, paper towels dipped in some mild solvent did the rest. And boy, was it bitterly necessary. About 100 hours of panel work went into Olivia's floor pan to make it solid and nice again. And that's when priming could begin. When the floor pan was primed and the gaps were sealed and all turned out beautifully, just two fingers away the dirt of 50 years annoyed me even more. I guess you agree that I couldn't leave this area like it was and, as some of you who have followed this series from the start will know, Olivia's heater had never worked since I've owned her.
polyurethane bed liner to cover the floor pan. I really wish that I could claim this idea for me, but in fact I can't. I heard about it from the Detroit Alpha Specialist Bradco Restorations and it got me hooked at the moment I first saw it on their Instagram site. I guess you have to be American to hit upon that idea. In the US, since years, the best-selling cars are pickup trucks. You know, in Europe one hardly ever has the opportunity to shoot a bison or a political opponent and throw him on the truck bed. The concept of a pickup truck, therefore, at this side of the pond hasn't widely been disseminated. I wasn't even aware about the existence of a product of the kind bedliner. But I am now, and I love it. It's a thick layer, super tough, durable two-component material, giving a beautiful texture. My favorite paint brand, Mipa, has a transparent, colorable version of it, so I added 10% Verde Oliva Metallizzato, and for that purpose I specifically got me acrylic paint, because it wouldn't work with the water-based product I normally use. While I'm preparing the application of the bed liner, at last winter's project you've seen me using grey stone guard on Walter, which I then painted red and sealed with clear. I think it went pretty well, but at the end of the day, stone chips at some point will penetrate through the paint. In the past years, therefore, I've been constantly looking for a material that I can use as a stone guard, which is homogeneously dyed through. I'm thinking about visible parts, of course, such as wheelhouses. I guess with the bed liner, I'm very close to the solution. Even the color match is exceeding my wildest expectations, and I'm repeating myself. The color runs through the entire thickness of this super solid paint. It's fantastic! Eventually I threw some metallic paint mist into the fresh bed liner to get even closer to the tone of the external paint and I could convince myself that it would cure to a durable coating. No trace of paint coming off, no chance to penetrate the surface with the fingernail, not even at the places where the bed liner was applied on top of the flexible body sealant. The whole project was rounded off by a thin coat of acrylic paint over the anti-noise mats under the back seat where the high pressure cleaner had flaked off some of the original paint. <laughs> 